There is a whole lot of bright orange. You can see the plankton gathered right here at the very surface of the water. This is where they're feeding on all of those nutrients that help the bloom grow. Views of the sound from West Seattle, Kitsap Peninsula, Whidbey, Bainbridge Island. It's just, it's amazing. Looked a little different this week. It just looks like a film that goes up and down the beach. I thought it was a uh, oil spill or pollution. As blooms of Noctiluca organisms grew. I told uh, some people just to be careful. I didn't know if it was uh, toxic or, or not. The Department of Ecology says, fortunately, it's not toxic for mammals. Blooms like this happen in the spring when melted snow sends fresh water into the sound, mixing with salt water and creating a top layer of nutrients for plankton to feed on. A warm weather phenomena more common since the 90s. It's nice to know that it's not toxic and it's just part of nature. While they aren't likely to hurt humans, they can eat smaller organisms at the base of the marine food web, and they contain high levels of ammonia, which can impact baby fish. Researchers say the blooms are natural and have occurred in Puget Sound since the 1940s, but they may be changing in timing and intensity. The length of a bloom is usually around a week. The Department of Ecology says that eventually they'll run out of those nutrients at the top of the water. That will slow their growth and they'll begin to die off, sink to the ocean floor and decay. Reporting from West Seattle, Erica Zuko, King 5 News.